I am getting rid of these two handbags, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Hi everybody, Laura here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you love handbags and want to know more about them, then this is definitely the channel for you. In today's video, I wanted to go over a couple of handbags that I purchased from a luxury brand that I really don't particularly love anymore and I will tell you about those in this video. So the luxury brand that I bought uh, these bags from is Saint Laurent or East Saint Laurent and the one bag that I had purchased was and I got this pre-love but I still had to pay um, about $2,500 for this bag. They're $3,200 new, but it is, yes, it is the medium monogram Lulu in the Mate Lasse. Mate Lasse is French, and that is actually for the quilting, the way the this um, handbag is stitched, the quilting here, that is what they call the Matelasse. Once I got, I was very happy when I got the bag at first. I was, you know, all excited. And then um, kind of quickly, I guess the novelty wore off. Um, the honeymoon was over pretty quickly on this bag. Um, I had carried it around and uh, I just, um, it, it, you know, it's a comfortable enough bag to carry. It is. But I, the one thing that I really, really, really do not like about this bag, and I will show you here, is the snap. Now, granted, it's a great snap. It's a strong snap. But you've really got to pull it. I mean, it is such a tough magnetic. And I kind of got tired, and I'm worried about, I guess, tearing after a while, loosening around the leather here. But it is just such... I don't know. I just, I really don't like that about this bag. Um, the chains, I'm not normally a huge fan of chain shoulder straps because they can be quite noisy, very noisy. Overall, I mean, this is a, a great bag. It holds a lot. And... I was fairly happy with it, but like I said, I just, I don't like this. I don't. Um, some handbags that I own um, have a snap, but it's, it's easy to get in and out of. So, yes, yeah, that would be my biggest complaint. But I just really got over, I guess, the chevron quilting. Um, I quickly just kind of fell out of love with this bag. It's not a bad bag, really, but those were my little peeves about it. And, you know, when you have a lot of handbags, eventually some of them you're going to get maybe a little bored of, maybe a little tired of. Um, but all in all, I mean, it's it's a nicely made bag. Um, 2500 pre-loved. I mean, that's still, you know, it's still a chunk of change for any handbag. So if you are a St. Laurent fan, you know, it might be a bag for you. The one other thing I did not like about this leather is it, it started to scratch right away and it does not wear the, the best. Um, in my opinion, um, it's already showing signs of wear. And to me, uh, you know, especially on a dark bag, so the the Lulu um, is just okay. It's one of those bags that I, I'm thinking about actually getting rid of in my collection. I just don't use it anymore. I just don't. The other bag, that would be the I Care shopping tote. Yeah, guys, in my opinion, this is kind of a large bag. 
um, especially if you're more of a small petite person, um, to get things in and out of this bag, I mean, it's fairly deep. So um, if you need to carry a lot of things with you, if you have, you know, your laptop and your, you know, your water and your phone and your, all your other essentials in this bag, then I can see maybe carrying a bag this large. I do. Um, but for me, it's not a very practical bag, except for maybe travel. But then again, do you want to spend $4,900 on a leather travel tote? <gasps> so um, I truly feel like it's not really, um, I don't want to say worth the money, but I'm going to say it's not worth the money. It, it's almost $5,000. This one will go down in my... Um, in my what were you thinking list because um yeah i mean it is a beautiful bag i love the quilting i just wish they would have made this bag just a little bit smaller so guys there you have two of the bags that i'm kind of really sorry that i did buy again these are just my opinions i'm not saying these are bad bags but for me and my lifestyle, um, they're just not what I love anymore because everybody has different needs on what they have or have to have in a handbag. And I think that's really important that you do really think about those things before you purchase them. Because I have to say, this was somewhat of an impulse purchase. I think I was just looking to buy a handbag that day. And this was like the only thing I really found that I really loved. So, yeah, I would kind of say it was an impulse purchase, but, you know, yeah, kind of an expensive impulse purchase. And that's the other thing we have to, like, watch out for is if we are out looking and we just feel like we have to buy something, you know, that's a lot of money, okay? And we, and we don't want to be just wasting our, our money, especially thousands of dollars. You know, we just don't want to do that. So think about these things. And if you, if you do, or, or maybe you were thinking about getting one of these bags, you know, maybe this helps you. I don't know. Maybe it helps you kind of rethink it like, Ooh, I didn't think of that. Or, Ooh, I didn't know this was, you know, so hard to get into, you know, it's like, really? Um, so I hope this helps you guys out and I will be, um, doing another video on bags that I actually do love and I'm sure more bags that I also don't love. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time I will talk to you later. Bye.